In this installment of Simple Food, Simple Life, we're going to make homemade split pea soup. Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Today, I'm going to show you how to make split pea soup. The easy and delicious way you're going to absolutely love it. The first thing we need to do is take our split peas, our dried peas, and I had about two cups here, and we're just going to put them in this kettle. I'm going to cover them with water. And what I'm doing is I'm simply soaking the dried peas for several hours, and that's going to assist us in our cooking process. You don't want to skip this step. All right, our dried split peas have soaked for about three hours and look at the nice beautiful color on them. I just love the way soaking them um, softens them up a bit and it just gives them such a beautiful, beautiful color. Isn't that pretty? And what I have here, I have chopped two um, decent sized carrots, I have two stalks of celery. I have a whole onion. This is purple onion, which is uh, what I had, so that's what I'm using. You can use white if you want. And I have two medium-sized potatoes cut into a dice. And all of my vegetables are diced nicely. Okay? Um, I recommend a small dice and because I just think it makes a nicer soup. Now, what I have here is a kettle, and in this kettle I have put two tablespoons of butter, which is on very, very low heat because I don't want to burn the um, butter. So I'm going to put my vegetables in my kettle, and I'm just going to saute them on a low heat and with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now then, I have my vegetables in. I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit on my pan. And um, I'm going to just toss these in that butter a little bit. And when that heat comes up, I'm going to stir them. And the reason I do that is because I want to saute them. I want them to sweat out their flavor. I don't want them to burn or get a brownish color on them, if at all possible. So, to help them sweat out, I'm just going to put some salt here because salt makes food taste good. <laughs> and I'm going to put some pepper. Now, in some split pea soup, they will add bay leaf. Um, I personally don't care for the flavor of bay leaf. You can add it if you want to. Some recipes call for garlic. I think it's completely unnecessary in this beautiful soup. And some call for uh, thyme, many other spices. I like to keep it simple. The one thing I'm going to add to this, because I'm not making a ham and split pea soup, which is also traditional, I am, because I'm not using any ham or ham bone or ham hocks of any kind, I'm going to, at some point, add a little bit of liquid smoke. It gives it that nice traditional smoky flavor of ham without the ham. So, if you want to use a ham hock, feel free. If you don't, that's fine too. Also, bacon is very, very good in this. If you use a ham hock or ham, diced ham of any kind, or bacon, you don't need to add the liquid smoke by any means. All right, I'm going to saute these up, and then we will show you what's next. Now, do you see how these have taken on a color, but not um, a brown color? They're becoming a little translucent, and that's just from being in there for about five minutes. Now, to this mixture, I'm going to add the peas that I have soaked. Now, I want you to know that if you don't want to use butter, 
You don't have to use butter. You can use an olive oil. That's good too. I just like the creaminess that uh, butter gives. It just gives a very nice creamy, um, it adds some creaminess to the soup, which is what I really enjoy. I've added my dry soaked peas. That sounds strange, doesn't it? Dry and soap. <laughs> anyway, I've added those to the mixture, and you will find, if you've watched any of my other videos on how to make bean soup, etc., that I love to saute my vegetables first with nice seasoning in them, and then I will add my dry beans, uh, lentils, peas to that mixture, and let that... Um, blend together because I want all of the goodness from the vegetables to surround my uh, beans or peas or lentils. If I would have added uh, ham to this, I would have uh, also put the ham in when I was sautéing the vegetables. Um, I just think it adds an extra layer of flavor. And also when I added my peas, I sprinkled a little more salt, a little more pepper. Um, each layer I try to season, okay? That's important to me. It doesn't have to be done all at once, but layer by layer and little by little it can be done. Now I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit on this, and I'm going to sprinkle just a few sprinkles of liquid smoke. I'm not adding much liquid smoke because I want the smoky flavor to be subtle. If you want to add more, you can, but I recommend using a light hand with liquid smoke because it um, can be very potent and it is easy to overdo. Now, I know I have it right because it's just a slight waft of smokiness that is coming up. Okay? Now I'm going to add a couple of quarts of water. This is cold water. Now, if you want to add chicken broth, you certainly can. If you want to use vegetable broth, you can use that too. That's no problem. But you see how that's plenty of water. Now, keep in mind, I have two cups of split peas. I have two medium potatoes, two carrots, um, fairly good sized carrots, two um, stalks of celery, and a whole onion. Okay, so that's where we are at right now. Now, I'm going to bring the heat up to a boil on this. Let it boil for a few minutes. I'm going to turn it down, and then I'm going to put a lid on it and let it simmer. This soup takes about an hour and a half, and then I will come back and show you what we have. All right, here we are. Here is our beautiful split pea soup. Now I want to show you how much the peas, the potatoes, and the vegetables in general have broken down. That's what you're looking for. The peas will break down a lot, okay? And if you want, you can use a potato masher and mash up those potatoes a little bit more. But I kind of like the chunks of potatoes in there and the carrots. I like to see the other vegetables. So this is what I'm going to do. I tasted it already for salt. And I added a little more salt, a little more pepper. Um, it's just something you do as you go. And uh, you'll know when it's right for you, okay? Or right for the people uh, for whom you're cooking. Now then, this is what I'm going to do. I let it cook for an hour and 15 minutes on very low. So I'm going to put my heat up to about medium. And I'm going to leave the lid off now. And I'm going to let that cook down. I'm going to let it reduce a little bit. And then when we come back, I'll show you what we have. Okay? So you don't want to miss it. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. All right, I've let it cook for another 15 minutes with the lid off so that it would reduce. And as you can see, it's reduced almost perfectly. Now, there's one more thing we have to add, just one more thing. 
what I have here is I've got a couple of tablespoons of butter and this butter is cold butter and I'm going to add that to the soup while I turn the burner off and I'm just going to stir that in. Now the reason I use cold butter is because it gives it a chance to incorporate a little more slowly into the split pea soup and uh, it keeps it from becoming uh, oily because we don't want that. So we're just going to stir that in there let it melt down naturally. Just look at how glossy and beautiful it's becoming. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that beautiful gloss. Isn't that something? Now then, almost there. We want that, that butter to melt down perfectly. Now it's all melted perfectly. Whoa, there's one little piece there. Come on. You got to get mixed in. You got to take a swim. <laughs> I've already tasted this for seasoning, so I know that I'm really good there. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just dish some of this up because I want you to actually see what it looks like. Now, I want you to imagine a steaming bowl. Well, you don't have to imagine because it's in front of you, isn't it? Imagine a bowl of this beautiful smoky split pea soup on a cold fall or winter day when it's blustery out. How about a grilled cheese sandwich on the side? Or how about dropping some beautiful buttery croutons in the middle of that soup? and eat them while they're still crunchy? Or how about drizzling just a little tiny bit of cream, full fat cream in the middle of your soup? That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Doesn't this look delicious? Look at it. It's rich. It's creamy. It is full of absolutely wonderful, delicious flavor. And all I did was sprinkle a little bit of dried parsley on there because parsley makes things look pretty. You know it does. It makes it look party. So, I hope you'll give it a try. Split pea soup made from scratch. You can do this. I have faith in you. And if you've never tried it, I hope you will. If you haven't had it in a long time, please, please give it a try. Again, and fall in love with split pea soup all over again. I know you will. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll give this a try in the near future. Very, very inexpensive. And you just remember one thing. That little is much when God is in it. Okay? Love ya. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for watching Simple Food, Simple Life. Please like, subscribe, and share because other people need to know this stuff too, you know.